For this look I enlisted the help of my boyfriend who's going to model for me today. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a mix of my white and my C3 face and body foundation all over his face and chest area just so I can pale him up and make him look dead. And next I'm moving on to my face contouring with a dark brown eyeshadow. So I'm accentuating the bags underneath his eyes, I'm contouring his nose lightly and I'm especially deepening up his crease more so near the eyebrow. Any darkness in the socket area is going to make his eyes look pushed further in and that's what we want for a dead look. But I'm also contouring slightly his forehead around the edges and onto the bone above the nose just so it looks as though it's protruding. And next I'm taking my black water activated paint which is far easier to take off than gel liner but you can definitely use what you have and I'm creating a small widow's peak on the roots of his hairline just because I saw Jon Snow have one and next I want his eyebrows to stay soft but I just want to make them a little bushier towards the front and also slightly droopy so I don't want to accentuate his arch at all instead I want to make them straighter and pointing downwards which is also why I'm brushing down his eyebrow hairs Next, using my Bioderma makeup remover on a cotton bud, I'm just going to take off the makeup from the spots where I want to place my scars. And for the scars, I'm using my Rigid Collodion, otherwise known as the Scar Liquid. And I'm just applying generous coats of this underneath his eye, then above his eyebrow, and on the other side of his face as well. Wherever my inspiration picture shows me there are scars, that's where I'm placing it. And I'm just leaving it to dry. I'm going to fill them in using my bruise wheel or black eye wheel. So I'm taking a very small amount of a mix of my burgundy and my purple. I'm just running it inside the scars that are now dried up. If I go overboard, I'm just blending it in using my finger or my foundation brush. The deeper the scar, the darker it's going to be. Also, it looks like this big one is more recent. So I'm starting off by applying some black and then some burgundy inside it. And then using my lash glue or liquid latex, alternatively, I'm continuing the scar on the side of the cheek, but this time I just wanted to have some texture, which is why I'm also going to tear up tiny bits of cotton and I'm going to apply them onto my glue and then coat the entire area again with some more lash glue and you can do this as many times as you want depending on the texture you're after. Here I'm pushing it away with my tweezers so it's more rough looking and while I wait for it to dry I'm just contouring the chest area. I'm using the same dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just accentuating the collarbones, the shoulder muscles, the neck, the Adam's apple, anything I can just to make it look darker and more dramatic. And of course I'm also going to do the other end of my contouring which is highlighting using the lightest color in my concealer palette and for this I'm just using my finger. I'm taking the same highlight between the eyebrows just to make them look slightly more apart and I'm further paling up the lips using the same concealer. And now for my scar which is completely dry, I'm starting to fill it in with black and a mix of a few burgundy shades from my lipstick palette, although I'm not using anything too bright because the guy's dead so he can't really have fresh blood running down his face. And moving on to the scar on the chest, the first thing I'm going to do is apply a light coat of spirit gum on the area where I want to place my knife wound, which I'm actually going to mold out of special wax. This is a wax-like consistency, which is malleable like Play-Doh. So I just worked it in between my fingers into the streak that looks like a worm and I stuck it onto my spirit gum. And now I'm firmly pressing down the edges just so they stick completely onto the skin. Once we've got something that looks like a raised scar, we're going to start ripping it open using a sharp object such as the back of the tweezers like I'm using here or a spatula, anything that's not going to actually rip your skin. I've also coated it with a bit of moisturizer just because it makes the whole process easier and I'm remolding it as I go just to minimize the tears and make it smooth looking. I'm using some loose powder to set the whole thing into place just so it doesn't move around too much. And then I'm ready to start filling it in with my black from my Kryolan palette. 
Once I've got my basic depth inside the wound, I'm using a stipple sponge with a mix of some brown and burgundy lipstick or whatever cream color you have. And I'm just applying it around the wound to give the illusion of some irritation. And I'm just painting over most of my black with some burgundy. As a final step, I'm applying some fake blood inside the wound right on top of my black and burgundy just to give it a bit more luster and make it more realistic looking. And there you have the finished dead Jon Snow look. So let me know whether you enjoyed this video and leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. If you missed my last video, that was a blind area stark look which I'll have the link to at the end of this video as always. If you like this mini-series, you can share it with your friends and family or any fellow Game of Thrones addicts. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!